Okay, various these customs today. We're going to start installing our air assist onto our op laser system. Uh, we aren't going to do a full walk walkthrough here. Op lasers have done quite a good um, video showing how to install it. It's pretty basic. You've only got a few parts here. Obviously, you've got the part where your ear is going to go through, the part that's going to now bolt to the bottom of the original laser, and then some tubing to run to the compressor. So let's get this installed. So once you've got the new lens screwed in, um, you got to make sure that the lens has got to be 2.5mm from the edge that mounts to the laser down to the um, lens itself. So get our calipers, we'll measure it. It's about 6mm, so we need to screw it in a little bit more. Alright, so we've got that at 25 now. So simply we just got to screw this back into the body of the laser. Just be careful to make sure that the threads are started before you start driving it in. Because if, if you round this out, it's not going to be the best thing. Alright, so this needs to screw on quite deep. But it's actually quite tight, so... So once this is screwed in, this, should, this gap here between the main body and the bottom of this brass bit should be between 1.5 and 2mm. It's quite difficult to get in there and measure it, but... Sitting currently at about 2.4 mil, so we'll screw it in a little bit more. We're at 2 mil now, so sort of split the difference and sort of go halfway between. And we've now got it at 1.75 mils so within their tolerance of what they're saying. So that's the bulk of that already done. Now, this end here, as you can see here, these markings here for the different heights. So this gets screwed on to set heights depending on what you're working with as well. And some materials are thicker than others. Obviously you're just going to have to note which way you're going to run your tubing to, which way is going to work with your setup. We currently have actually got our laser, we had it set to, this, to the in front of the spindle but we've moved it back to the side when we were using the CNC because we did find it started to get a little bit in the way. I'm noticing this is a little bit tight to fit on, I don't want to press it too hard. It's just because of those little lines that's sort of providing some ribs and it's sort of just biting a little bit. It goes off a little bit more. It's a very tight fit because obviously it's got a um, O-ring seal in there as well to make sure that all the air is trapped. So we're just going to loosely lock these down in about here. Just double check that we haven't adjusted our measurement here too much. Uh, we're sitting at 1.8, so that's within their tolerance. So that's the nozzle end done. So now we've got to get this run through all our cable management and pretty much hook it up. Okay, so we've got our tubing run. We've given us up a little bit extra length just to be safe for now. But for this end, it's as simple as pressing in the press fitting here and pushing it in, and it's locked in place. And then obviously you're going to want to uh, cable tie it up somewhere out of the way. Remembering not to cable tie it to this here, because obviously this is the removable part. So obviously every time you're going to have to remove this end, you're going to have to press the fitting and pull it out. So you're probably best to leave a little bit of length on, because over time these teeth can damage into the tubing and can um, make a hole because this is the same sort of setup as a 3d printer sort of press fitting so having a bit of length is good because if you have any damage to the end of the tubing you've got plenty of length just to dip it off rather than having to try to pull more through so let's have a look at the other end okay so for our compressor we're gonna have a try at using our little airbrush compressor um, it should have enough power because with the size of this tubing being so small I don't think we're gonna really need a big big compressor I think this is gonna handle so for this end we've actually just got it installed into our original um, line in case we want to use this tool for our airbrush so it actually bolts up to our quick release this fitting here obviously it, not all the fittings are supplied this is just a normal uh, PTFE tube 
fitting from a 3D printer. So if any of you guys have got a 3D printer, I'm sure you'll have some spares of these laying around. They fit perfectly, so you don't have to rush out to the store and try to find something. Okay, so we've done a couple of tests here. We've got acrylic on this side and we've just got a birch ply here. Uh, we'll start off with the ply. Air on and air off. Air on, you can clearly see the difference between the cut edges. Um, it's a lot cleaner, like there's no burning on the cut edges on this one at all. This one, there's a lot of browning and it's the same around the letters. Uh, the letters on the air off is a lot darker than the air on, but you don't have as much burnt edges. Uh, the circle, yeah, it's quite a quick speed you don't really notice a lot of difference in that uh, acrylic was an interesting one so in terms of the actual cutting around the ear off you could see the difference you could see a bit of a ridge build up around the cut edge on the ear off but the actual words on ear off actually look a little bit cleaner to me than ear on I don't know why they just look a lot more defined um, but when we jump onto the ear on cut edge it's a lot cleaner you don't see that ridge at all um, Back size is much the same story, no ridge at all on the air on. And you see the air off, you see that little ridge built up around the edge. So it definitely makes a difference. Um, obviously acrylic it hasn't made a huge difference, but on your lighter sort of wood, woods like your birch, your ply, I think it's going to make a big difference. So if you guys want to pick up the air assist, we'll put the link in the description. If you guys want to pick up the laser kit for your work bee or there's a few other different brands, we've got a link in the description for that as well. So thanks for watching. Till the next one, have a good one.